we share what the top trend on social media was with our hashtag of the week. And students around Western New York were heading back to school this week, making it a top trend online. And hundreds of organizations took to social media talking about heading back to class, making hashtag back to school our hashtag of the week. Edutopia used hashtag back to school when it posted some social media tips for students. They are using the acronym THINK to help students keep social media posts true, necessary, and kind. And if you still need to buy school supplies, you may want to check out hashtag back to school on Twitter. Office Depot tweeted a link to 1,000 items they offer for $5 or less. And hashtag back to school on Twitter can also help you brush up on some valuable information. The CIA tweeted a link for students of all ages to learn about history, communication, problem solving, and more. And over on Facebook, the anti-bullying ambassadors used hashtag back to school when they posted top tips for heading back to the classroom. Tips include speaking about your problems, telling yourself you can achieve anything you want, and not being scared to speak to someone new. Coming up later in the show, I'll be sharing some more back to school photos sent in by our viewers in this week's Report at Recap. For now, we're sending things over to Lauren, who is in the kitchen. Thank you. Thanks, Lauren. Time now for our Report at Recap, where we share your pictures from the past week. On Monday, the University of Buffalo sailing team was out in full force teaching new recruits how to sail in a light breeze. Thank you, James, for sending in this photo from the Buffalo Yacht Club. And the next day, Sherry sent in a reported photo of her dog as they took a ride in her truck. What a beautiful dog. Thanks for sharing this one, Sherry. And on Wednesday, Heather sent in this photo from the New York State Fair. This photo shows a sculpture for the food bank made completely from butter. And now I cannot forget all the back to school photos that came in this week. We got in dozens of back to school pictures that we featured on WIVB.com, like this one from Mary Beth of two cousins who had their first day of school together at Northern Chautauqua Catholic School. And this morning we got in a beautiful reported photo from Lori. She sent in a sunrise photo with a pink sky this morning from Randolph Pine Hill. Be sure to send us in your pictures over the weekend so we can share them in next week's Report at Recap. Now it's time to send things back out to Matt.